Well, the attorneys for those students filed that lawsuit on February 28th. A few days later, on March 7th, the Star Point School District tried to have that case moved to the U.S. District Court here in Western New York. The Star Point School District said because Title IX allegations were involved that it was a federal matter and the case should move to that federal court. U.S. District Court Judge Lawrence Villardo issued a 15-page decision and ruled that the case does not raise substantial federal issues. Based on the arguments made at the hearings, Judge Villardo felt that the, he did not have jurisdiction on the matter. The judge also ruled that the Title IX does not preempt state law in this case. Other issues in the matter keeping uh, as a matter of keeping the identities of the students under seal, the judge ruled in favor of that, but did not rule in favor of the district having to pay attorney's fees. I think the court saw it for what it was. There was no good answer to that question. So the federal court uh, had a very reasoned decision saying there was no substantial federal question raised. This is a very narrow issue. Um, we're, we're saying again, the decision to expel these two students was arbitrary and capricious and they have failed to give. We, all we want is a reason. We Give us the reasons that fit this, this, the, the law. The case will now be heard in Niagara County State Supreme Court at the end of the month. Now, there is still the criminal court case that needs to be sorted out. In March, the Niagara County Sheriff's Office announced charges of harassment against those two students. That case won't be heard until the end of the month as well. But as the attorneys point out, no sexual charges were filed. In the newsroom, Nate Benson, Channel 2 News.